Hello and welcome to the Policy Bazaar show here on Republic TV. Most financial experts will tell you that the most important thing about financial planning is getting yourself a good health insurance. We are going to talk about that and more. One of the things that a lot of us uh, believe is that if we are working, uh, our employer offers us a group uh, cover, a medical cover, a health cover, and that's more than enough for us. Now, is that really enough? Those are some of the questions we are going to seek to answer with our esteemed panelists. Joining me today is Anika Agarwal, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at Max Bupa, one of the leading health insurance companies in the country. And also with me is Amit Chhabra, who is the Business Head for Health Insurance at Policy Bazaar, which has been a disruptor as far as enabling millions of Indians to buy their insurance online. Thank you very much, uh, both Thank of you, you, for coming by. Before we you know, get into the aspect of a group cover versus individual, I just want to get a quick insight from both of you on, are you seeing a change in the youth especially, becoming a little more aware about buying health insurance at an early age? So if you look at the young millennials of today, I think they're a little more conscious about you know, their financial spending, what they want to do with their life and their goals. From that perspective, yes, they're a little more aware in terms of financial protection. Mm. And we see a lot of youngsters today buying health insurance at an earlier age. Mm. If you look at the average age when a customer bought a health insurance, it was usually at the time of either their marriage or you know, when their first child is born. Mm. Today, we see more and more young ones buying health insurance. And an ideal age to buy a health insurance cover today is actually between 28 years to almost 32, 33 years. Mm. So people in their first jobs or in their second jobs, just before they start their journey of you know, marriage, children actually are buying covers for themselves mm. and not just for their parents. So let's uh, talk a little about you know, the uh, health cover, the group covers that employers provide to their employees. Uh, now, those who are an employee already probably are aware of this. Maybe you are already covered by your company. Uh, but for those who are not aware, and many may be not aware, uh, what exactly is the group cover that an employer provides to its employees? So, as per government guidelines, every employer has to provide some sort of health insurance cover. Now, typically at the, at the labor levels, it's the ESIC provided cover that's, that's given. At beyond a certain level it's typically a group health cover that the employer will purchase from an insurance company and give it to all their employees the catch there is everybody does not really understand uh, the the exact features and the coverages that the group health cover provides so just to give you a simple perspective uh, roughly about 60 percent of all health insurance that's provided by an employer has a sum insured of just two lakh rupees mm. There are a lot of limitations, there are a lot of sublimits on room rent, on the kind of diseases which will be covered. Uh, there are sublimits, so for example, uh, for a cataract thing, only about 25,000 rupees will be paid. So there are a lot of these limitations which customers today aren't really aware. So they may think that their employer provided health insurance cover is enough, but that may not be true. So that is something that, uh, that, every, that I, I'll urge everybody to actually understand from their current policy. There is a perception, Anika, that you know when you take a group cover, it covers a lot more diseases than an individual cover does. Is that true or is that a myth? So, you know, there are certain advantages that come as uh, when you're a part of a group policy. The first and primary advantage is that there are no pre-existing disease waiting periods. So if I enroll into a policy today and I am a diabetic, let's say, I will be covered from day one. So that's a natural advantage that a group cover offers you, and that's true. But what happens is that, you know, if you have an individual cover and you've served your waiting periods early enough, then you get a more comprehensive coverage with your individual cover. We also need to understand that, you know, health insurance with rising medical inflation and healthcare costs is becoming expensive. So employers are actually reducing your sum insured and coverages. Mm -hmm. As Amit mentioned, there may be certain sublimits in your group policy which may not be there in your individual policy. So sublimits for diseases like cataract, knee replacement will not be there in your individual policy if you look at your policy carefully. So you get a more comprehensive coverage. And none of these features that you mentioned come with a group cover? So some of them do, but it is dependent on your employer. Okay. There is very little flexibility that you have as an employee. Hmm. And I think another important point is actually the coverage of your dependents. 
Today, most insurance policies, which are group policies, would cover an individual and immediate family, which is, you know, your spouse and your children. But parent coverage today in group policies is shrinking. So mm -hmm. if you need to buy a cover which covers the entire family, which is you, yourself, your children, your spouse and your parents, you should look at, at a family floater plan. What are some of the restrictions that a group cover comes with? There are three major limitations if I have to say. So number one, the sum insured. Sum insured is typically 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, doesn't really go beyond it. Which may be less in the current scheme of things where the medical inflation has is, is really, really high. So even for a, for a very, very normal, typical kind of a uh, medical uh, complication, that sum insured will get exhausted very, very quickly. Yeah. So that's one. Second is sublimits within the policy. So for example, a typical cataract uh, uh, surgery for, for, for both eyes would end up costing about 2 lakh rupees. The typical uh, limit in a group policy is about 25,000 rupees as an example. Hmm. So the customer will eventually have to shell out that kind of money from, from their own pocket. Hmm. The other restriction is what happens when you leave the job. Now, there are two scenarios that can happen. You leave the job, you go into some another, another job and you get another policy there. That's a possibility, yes. What you don't realize is there is a big gamble over there. What if the new company does not have a policy as good as your current company? What if it does not cover your dependents, it's only covering the employer, employee? What happens in case, uh, you know, it has a very different policy altogether. So that, that's something that a customer does not think of right now. And specifically for the youth, which may currently think that, you know, I'm fit and fine right now, I don't really need health insurance. What they don't realize is, let's say 20, 30 years down the line, when they actually retire and they would be leaving their employer, they may have some pre-existing disease, like let's say a diabetes or a hypertension, that may not get covered at all. So at that stage, you may not even be able to buy a retail health insurance policy, or it will be a policy which will be very expensive, and at the same time with a lot of limitations. So that is something which you won't see right now, but it will come to bite you at a later stage. That is that is something which is very, very critical for the youth of today to realize now rather than, you know, realize it 20 years down the line. Many employers, uh, Anika, give the employee an option to say that how much cover do you want? Uh, you know, you made the point that uh, parents, for example, being included in the cover is a, is a principal shrinking. Uh, but many of them, you know, give you various slabs and they say that, you know, do you want to pay a little extra and get your parents covered? Do you want to pay a little extra, get your children covered? Uh, are you saying that all of this may not be enough uh, for an individual? So I think there are two things. One is, of course, it may not be in enough from, you know, the coverage point of view from a sum in short perspective. As Amit said, it's only two to three lakh rupees. Even if it is five lakhs, five years down the line, it may not be enough for you. And I think the other uh, important point is insurance is always about protection for, you know, the uncertain and for future. Somewhere we do not realize when we are planning, when we are setting our financial goals, that 10 years from now, if this is not enough for me, or if my parents are not covered adequately, then, you know, this is a large dent in the pocket. And at that point in time, you may not get the right insurance cover. That is the most important aspect that you should buy it when you're healthy so that you can get the right sum insured. Because otherwise it will come with limitations, it will come with exclusions in your policy, which you may not want. Because sometimes we do not read the fine print of our insurance policy, you know, as consumers. It's very important to understand that there will be certain limitations and exclusions if you have a pre-existing disease or if you are of a certain age. Whereas if you're paying your premiums early and you have a policy which is continuing for 10 to 12 years, then you've covered all of those off. You don't have any exclusions in your policy. And as your age increases and the chances and probability of you um, you know, having a critical illness or, a pre or, you know, a lifestyle disease like diabetes and hypertension come in, mm. you are protected. Mm. So it's about adequacy of coverage. It's about covering your entire family. And it's also about saying, um, you know, what are the right things for me in an insurance policy, which is flexibility and customization, which sometimes you may not get in a group cover. Mm. Okay, we take a short break here on the Policy Bazaar show. When we come back, uh, we continue to discuss uh, the merit of having an individual cover in addition to a group cover that your company where you're employed may be offering you. Anika Garwal and Amit Chabra will be there as well. We'll be back in a short while. Welcome back uh, to the Policy Bazaar show. We are talking about health insurance and more specifically about whether it's enough 
to have an employer provided health cover for yourself or do you also need an individual cover? The unanimous verdict so far from the panelists has been it is not enough to depend solely on what your employer is providing you. It's also important to have your own cover and own individual cover. Uh, Amit, just to close the piece on the employer versus individual cover, I think one of the things that makes people go for an employer cover, or at least used to make them go for an employer cover, was the ease. But has the ease factor become much more simpler today? So, uh, Vivek, there's a big misconception that we've always uh, seen a lot of customers having that getting a health insurance plan needs you to get a medical checkup done. Yeah. And typical typical mentality a lot of us have is to we we are afraid of medicals because we never know what might come out of the medical policy eventually yeah. <laughs> right so if i if i am somebody who smokes and who drinks i'm very very afraid about going to a medical checkup because you know right now i'm confident that i'm fit and fine but you never know what might come out of that checkup so we we, we really shy uh, when it comes to going for a medical checkup what we don't know is that if you are up to the age of 60 years there's actually no need to even go get a medical checkup at all you get an instant policy, it covers you, it provides all the coverages from day one itself. Even if you have a disease like, let's say, diabetes or hypertension, you still actually don't need to go through a medical checkup. Uh, most of the insurance policies today get issued through a process called tele-underwriting, where a qualified doctor from the insurance company will ask a set of questions, and based on those questions, the policy will be issued instantly. Hmm. So it's actually pretty simple. Yes, definitely the process of you know uh, filling up the form, the payments, there's no paperwork needed now like it used to always be. The process of paying is much simpler. You can buy a policy up to three years up front and that gives you a discount as well. Hmm. So from an ease perspective, yes, definitely things have improved. But the big myths that a lot of people have that you know I'm afraid of going for a medical checkup and that's why I would never buy a health insurance policy. That's actually not true. Often it happens that I might be just starting out in my career. I may be 25, 26, first job. Uh, I'm listening to the two of you and saying, OK, let me get myself a health cover. But at this point, I may be only able to get myself, say, a 5 lakh cover. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the only amount I can afford in terms of premium. Yeah. Uh, is there flexibility that I can, with every passing year, keep increasing my cover? Absolutely. So you can increase your sum insured, you can move to a better product, a better brand. So all of those options are available every year when you renew. Okay. So if you want to increase, you know, from 5 lakhs to 1 crore, you can do that next year. Okay. So all of those options are available. But with the same insurance company or I can port it out to another insurance company? You can do both. You okay. can do both. See, also what you have to realize is over time, uh, products are evolving significantly. So. Again, cut back to 10 years, uh, 10 years back, the products were much simpler. There were a lot of restrictions that they offered on room rent, for example. So earlier products typically had a 1% room rent limit, which means if you have a 5 lakh rupee sum insured, the, room, the maximum room rent that you could afford is 5,000 rupees in a hospital, which maybe was fine 10 years back, but right now it's not. So today, most good health insurance plans don't have a room rent capping. So you can get a single private room, up to any standard. So you go to the most expensive hospital, you can always get the sing single private room there. It's covered in your health insurance policy. Mm. Additionally, there are, there are some products which are even able to offer you a suite room in a hospital, for example. It's almost the most luxurious room in a hospital. You can go and you can get treated over there. So just to take that point further, Anika, how would you uh, describe uh, what is a good plan? So when you look at a plan, um, you know, plans are evolving. And as Amit said, you could move to a different plan, but also your own insurance plan, your insurance company would enhance every two to three years. And you automatically get upgraded to a new plan, which is as per the current needs, right? So, you know, you may have room rent enhancements, as Amit mentioned, in your current plan. Also, you know, every two to three years, you should look at your own sum insured and see if that's adequate for you. Most insurers would give you that option to actually upgrade your sum insured as and when you feel the need. Mm. So if you look at a, a good insurance plan, I think you should look at comprehensive coverage for hospitalization, which would include not just basic hospitalization, but coverage for daycare procedures, alternative treatments. Today, most plans cover for pre and post expenses of hospitalization. You should get that coverage in. 
uh, beyond a basic hospitalization cover, you can buy a top up for a critical illness uh, like cancer, which is increasing. So you could actually do, you know, a lump sum payout when a critical illness occurs. So you could have a base hospitalization plan, then top it up with a critical illness plan. Mm. There are also plans today that offer wellness features. And to your point, you know, around increase of sum insured, so you could do that yourself. But a lot of plans in the market today would actually offer you automatic sum insured increases. So okay. there is a concept of sum insured refill. So as and when you know you um, extend your policy duration. So let's say in a period of five years, your sum insured can actually double. Okay. So it almost gives you inflation protection. Hmm. So um, you know Max Bupa's Go Active plan has a feature called I Protect which actually gives you inflation protection automatically 10% year on year as you know the plan moves forward. So you don't have to worry and think about you know what's my right sum insured, mm -hmm. when do I increase it. Many plans have that option. So you know there are these refill benefits available as well and many plans have a no claim option as well. So you know if you've not claimed and you've got claim free years, let's say three or four years, your sum insured would increase with every claim free year. So it's almost like a loyalty reward for the customer and it also helps them you know keep up with medical inflation hmm. so amit since there are you know so many insurance companies out there and probably each insurance company has a bouquet of products as anika mentioned uh, how 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 do i go about sifting through when you know a company like yours actually helps me make that decision uh, so how easy is it i mean there are so many features that anika just talked about that one was not even aware of uh, how, how, how easy is it or how do I go about as a consumer if I'm listening to you I want to go and buy a policy and I probably have certain very specific needs of my own depending on my background my history my family history how do I go about purchasing it so there are three broad uh, decisions that you have to make when you're looking to buy a health insurance plan you have to think of what some insured you want to buy uh, what kind of features you want to buy because that will decide the kind of product you would end up buying and third is which brand do you want to go with mm. See, health insurance is a it is a complex purchase yes because this is something that you're buying forever now this is something that you'll retain for your entire lifetime so you would want to always make the right decision what is very important here to also understand is not to not to be biased or get influenced by somebody who may be selling you a specific plan because of some commercial reasons that the, that the person may have we used to see that a lot in the past ages, you know, when uh, in past past years rather, when uh, you know an agent would come and want to sell a policy because because of the kind of commercial arrangements that he has. But yeah, coming back, so there are there are three broad areas that one should look at. The first one is sum insured. Now, what sum insured to buy is pretty much a, fa a factor of two uh, two decision points. One is what's your lifestyle stage or what's what's your family like? Are you looking to buy an individual cover or are you looking to buy a cover for? you know, uh, for your wife, for your family, for, uh, for your kids, for your parents. So it completely depends on that. And it depends on the kind of budget you have. You know, in an ideal case, if there's no budget constraint, I would, I would prefer buying the highest sum insured possible because that ensures that I am covered against anything possible that happens to me. But if there are budget limitations, yes, you should look at, uh, as Anika was saying earlier, probably a 15 to 20 lakh cover because that will give you adequate coverage against critical illnesses as well as any day to day illness that happens specifically in a uh, specifically for a family okay so that's one the second thing you look at is what kind of features you want to have in your insurance policy and today we're seeing a lot of innovation happening over there so do you want opd being covered in your health insurance policy or not do you want uh, maternity being covered or not so if you're planning a kid let's say 2 3 years 4 years down the line then you might want to get a plan which covers for maternity expenses as well uh, do you want to get global coverage? So in case something something critical happens, you can actually go outside India and get treated at the best hospitals in the world. Uh, do you want a no-claim bonus? And to what extent do you want to go in the no-claim bonus or the refill, as Anika mentioned? What that does is it gives you adequate coverage in case something has already happened in the year and you have exhausted your entire sum insured. Mm. So based on these parameters, you decide the kind of product you want to go with. The, 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 other, the other thing is if you have any existing any existing disease, so for example, if, you, if a customer today has a diabetes, there are plans which are specific to diabetes, which offers diabetes specific need, uh, features to the customer. And then there are generic plans which will put a four year waiting period. So just to give you an example, today a plan can give you day one coverage on diabetes as well, if you are an existing diabetes uh, patient. Okay. Whereas you also have plans which put a four year waiting period. You also have plans which put a permanent exclusion on diabetes. 
so depending upon the and obviously pricing varies accordingly so depending upon your budget and your uh, feature requirement you decide mm. and the third thing is the brand you want to go with so and that depends on a number of factors again it depends on uh, what kind of cashless network uh, the sp the specific brand has because in metro cities it does not really matter that much because all of the large health insurance companies have presence across you know all, all of the large hospitals but let's say if you are somebody who travels a lot who goes out in rural areas a lot you would want to look at the coverage the cashless network coverage in those specific cities so that is very critical when you make when you make a decision and see eventually health insurance is all about trust it it you know how much do you trust the health insurance company because you would call them up when you are in, in a state of distress you are probably in a hospital with you being admitted or somebody very very nearby to you admitted so it's very important if you if you trust a specific brand if you trust you know that they will be with you at the time of claim that makes a very critical decision when it comes to the brand so to summarize it's a function of some insured what kind of features you want to buy and the kind of brand you want to buy typically all large brands would have some kind of offering for you which within all of these three uh, factors so based on that is uh, where a customer should make a decision mm. which is where actually comparison becomes very very critical so today there are about 25 health, uh, companies which offer health insurance plans it's very important that you actually compare and come to a conclusion to what plan you're buying you should look at all the features read the fine print as anika was saying because it's important because you would not realize it right now maybe 5 years down the line when you are at the state of a claim is when you realize that oops my policy does not cover this or there is a copay attached to this mm. so very important to compare read the policy document carefully understand exactly what you are buying before you buy moving on to our next segment which is the myth buster the myth is anika that i am young uh nothing is going to happen to me i'm very healthy at this point of time why do i need an individual insurance my group cover is enough so i think we should bust that myth fact number 1 there is a growing incidence of lifestyle diseases even at a very young age fact number 2 if you buy it later when you have already got a disease you may not get adequate coverage and three you know if you have a corporate cover you may not have enough sum insured or coverage so yes you do need a hospitalization cover and you do need it early specifically i think in your 20s amit so if i'm young i will you know there are two reasons why i will think like this one is i'll always think that nothing like this will ever happen to me uh it's very easy to bust that myth actually look at how many celebrities around us who were all fit and fine who suddenly got cancer uh secondly i would feel like that if i because i think that you know in case something happens to me i will take care of that from my own savings what we don't realize is you know there have been so many instances where all where, where uh, because of uh, critical illness all my savings were vanished completely vanished of all what i had uh, garnered in my lifetime because i had to pay like 20 30 40 lakh rupees at the time of uh, my illness so these are the two reasons why i think people don't realize it right now but yes it it is something that somewhere at the back of the mind a lot of us know we just too too scared to accept it so go out there get yourself a health insurance cover as soon as you can uh, because it only gets more expensive and complex as you uh, go up in age uh, so get yourself a cover immediately it will come cheaper it will come without any hassles as you heard the panelists talk about and then you can keep adding on to it Uh, and as it evolves as your own life evolves okay that's all the time we have in this edition of the policy bazaar show we'll be back with lots more thanks for watching <laughs>